the emergence of Dajjal himself. How, how will he emerge? Just always remember that the fitna of Dajjal is different than the Dajjal himself. The fitna, the sedation, the tribulation, the hardship, the dealing with, with, with the fitna of Dajjal is different than Dajjal himself. So the, the fitna, the, the tribulations are actually there. His forerunners have to come in and, and deal with that. There's one hadith from Bahaili that he said that the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the Dajjal will not appear until the people become negligent in talking about him and until the Imams abandon talking about him from the pulpits. In another hadith, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Man sami'a bid Dajjal falyan'a'u anhu fa wallahi inna rajula la ya'tihi wa huwa yahsabu annahu mu'min that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said the one who hears of the Dajjal should run away, should leave, move for by Allah that a man will come to him meaning and he thinks يحسب أنه مؤمن he thinks he's a believer so that he said I will deal with the Dajjal because I am believer and then the message of Allah وسلم, it's, this is in Abu Dawud actually he said فَيَتَّبِعُهُ مِمَّا يَبْحَثُ بِهِ مِنَ, من الشبهات. and then this person who thinks he's a believer will follow the Dajjal because of what he uncovers of the things that are ambiguous. So it's just that the Dajjal is totally taken over him. So be very careful, don't think, oh, because you believe you are safe, you do two rak'at, you go to Jum'ah. No, 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 no. It is actually a very scary thing because remember Rasulullah said there is no bigger creation than the Dajjal from the time of Adam till the Yawm Al-Qiyamah, right? Some thing will make him angry. I cannot go deeply in this because it's very occultish. But Rasulullah sallallahu in Sahih Muslim, he said, إِنَّمَا يَخْرُجُ مِنْ غَدَبَةٍ يَغْدَبُوهَا That he will get out with anger because he is angered, right? So he will come out in anger, in anger. Rasulullah sallallahu said, the Dajjal will come and I was talking to one of our dear brothers. He said, Rasulullah could have said that he's coming from there and finish. But he said in a different narration, he said, oh, Dajjal will come from the east. He will come from Khurasan. He will come from the gap between Iraq and Sham, meaning Khalla. Khalla here is, is, is that little gap, that crevice that the Dajjal will come out of. After he emerges, he will remain on earth for 40 days. أَرْبَعُونَ يَوْمًا يَوْمٌ كَسَنَةٌ وَيَوْمٌ كَشَهْرٌ وَيَوْمٌ كَجُمْعَةٌ وَسَائِرُ أَيَّامِهِ كَأَيَّامِكُمْ That Rasulullah sallam he said that he will stay for 40, one day will be like a year, one day will be like a month, one day will be like a week, and the rest of the days will be like your days. So it's something that we cannot comprehend at this time. And it's authenticated by the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Meaning, how will that be? One day will be like the intensity, out, what realm? We don't know. You see? In another hadith, the companions were asking, how fast will he move through the earth? <laughs> Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kal he will move like, you know, those wind that drive the, the, the rain and the clouds very quickly. Meaning he will move swift from place to place. In another narration, he will come out and he will wreak havoc, right? Meaning he will be extreme destroyer and he will come out when he's angry. Rasulullah said, he will come to some people and call them and they will respond and believe in him. Then command the sky to rain and it will rain. And he will command the earth to produce vegetation and it will do so. And the flocks will come back in the evening with their humps taller, with their udders fuller, and with their flanks fatter than they had ever seen before. And the hadith continues. The Dajjal, brothers and sisters, will travel to every place except Mecca and Al-Madinah. 
But no one even in Mecca and Al-Madinah will escape his trial. Doesn't mean that he didn't get to enter, but no one will escape his trial. Rasulullah said, Laysa min baladin illa sata'uhu ad-dajjal illa makkata wal Madinah. That there will be no place on this earth that the Dajjal will not enter except Mecca and Al Madinah. And then Rasulullah sallallahu continued and said, And there will be no passage out of the passages leading them which would not be guarded by the angels arranged in rows. And then there would appear in a, in a barren place adjacent to Al Madinah, meaning where, where Al Madinah is right now, and it would rock three times. Thalatha Rajafat. And in Sahih Muslim, Rasulullah said, Yahruju ilayhi minha kullu kafirin wa munafiqin. And everyone that is a disbeliever and a hypocrite will come out to him after these three shakes.